Beatty, UC Farm Advisor for Kings County and Nut Crops. And again, we have with us uh, Chris Wiley. This video is concerning trees that are coming into the prime bearing period. We're pushing the canopy back and up. We're attempting to stiffen the canopy. We're attempting to open up areas where they're congested by performing an occasional thinning cuts, although on trees of this age, we hope that we don't have too many thinning cuts. If we have properly trained the tree, which in this case we have, we have a nice upright tree having short primaries and secondaries as well as tertiaries in order to build the framework of the tree. So it's a very compact fruiting unit. We're going to turn this tree over to Chris. So I just start doing heading cuts on the whips and I have my men do as much as they can with the hand shears. And then they can go around, equipment cuts, anything that's definitely going to get in the way of the equipment. So I'm just, these heading cuts will keep this, this a girth up, this is high enough, these fruit buds, and this, this is going to be, this is all good fruit wood. And then, and I'm trying to reach as much as I can with the hand shears, dipping these whips, and whips are very important to me because you get more branching, and like this from last year, it's all about uh, canopy area, and a lot of this I can't reach. I'll get it with the pool shears. Just take the terminal bud out. Try to get as much length as you can. Okay, look at, see this is the problem. Okay, this is the whipping one. There's latent buds, so if I really want it, and I do for a few years, I'll take care of it there, that way. Here's a good nice whip. 16 to 22, it's the same measurement. I'm working on one year old whips. So I'm just taking the terminal bud out, reach as much as I can with the hand shears, heading cuts, uh, leverage cuts we call them. Taking the, just about anything I can reach with the hand shears. The low cuts, equipment cuts from the deck. I have my guys as they're going through too, they can just touch the limbs. Knocks the fruit off. Just teach the guy, we worry more about lengths. Weaker growth is 16, with a little stronger, I go 18 to 22. Just looking, because you start looking, have guys, now on primaries and young years, you're looking at structural limbs, then you can kind of look at that. We look more for length. Beautiful, it's a beautiful tree. And this is all going to be branches next year, so it's just going to add to the canopy. It's still, if it's uh, moderate growth or kind of weak, 16 inches. If it's a little stronger, we can go up to 20, 22 inches. If it's more upright, it can be a little bit longer, but that's a nice strong whip. So I'm going to try to net 22 inches. And you can see we have a mark on the pole shears, and the men, every once in a while, I want them to measure so they can get the hang of 22 inches. And after a while, just, just taking the tips out of these fruit limbs, just to girth them up and a branch. And when limbs branch, they gain girth. And girth gain uh, creates strength. I mean, you got probably, this tree will have about 80 cuts. Each direction has its own zone. And if you keep the wood in that zone, the pruning after a while just becomes very, very easy. Okay, any other comments you'd like to make, I love Chris? that tree. That's, that Looks tree good like to that, me. That'll go with probably 3,000 pounds an acre this yes, year. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it too. <laughs>